I remember. I can even remember the day. That day, 1701. I was a young fool. Entered the throne room with nothing but dreams of daring and a burning thirst for action. Still, her majesty was considerate. Listen to me. All I needed was a ship and someone to believe in. We followed the wind west, sailed with the dolphins. I often ask myself if I promised too much. When I boastfully filled Her Majesty's ears with the prospect of settling huge tracts of land. Many industrious hands went to work, built a prospering settlement from nothing. Then it happened. did more. The city shone as never before. Today, trade flourishes. Her Majesty is satisfied. It paid off. Back in 1701. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pablo1713. Hi and welcome in Anno 1701. So this is a game from 2006. <laughs> yes, we got some whale underneath our bow, our ship, as you can see. It's going straight away in here. There's another whale in here. Oh yeah, the graphic has changed a lot. And I just want to mention one thing. I just love how the intros were looking in those old time games. Really awesome looking intros. And they were making the games really special. Really too bad that there are no intros right now. Okay, but let's start into the game. As you can see, I'm just focused on this really beautiful whale. So this is our That's island in here. This is really big, big island. We got plenty of animals, but as you can see, everything has been toned down to the <laughs> 1503 anno, where the sounds were attacking here from every side. There are some wolves in here. Yeah, sunflowers everywhere. Really beautiful looking game. Really peaceful. Again. So, getting back to the correct roots. And what's going on in here? Yeah, we got some fish deposits in here. Some whales in here. That is really awesome. And yes, so the map is rotating with me all the time. So here we got enemy. And they are already building everything in here really fast. And what is really cool, I can really zoom out a lot, as you can see. This is the super zoom out and this is zoom in so yeah they're building everything really fast in here we got mr yellow so yellow enemy in here so they are also making everything really fast and is this is the marketplace village center okay that is very interesting so we got also mr gray or what is it actually oh there are some kind of Ooh. Sacrifice. Wow, that's very interesting. Post -post. What brings you to the Empire of the Aztecs? Aztecs. Okay, that's very interesting. So, yeah, so this is natives. So, we can probably trade with them. And what else do we have in here? Here we got something really interesting. Okay, can I turn off? No. Okay, so, again, some totems. Has settled on an island. <laughs> very interesting looking. Oh yeah, really beautiful and... Do you come to the Iroquois as a friend, Iroquois. stranger? Okay, so we got Indians in here. So that was top. Too bad that this moving. Probably there's a way to tap rotation of this map. Okay, yeah, let's face north. That will be easy for us. So we are at the north right in here. So this One is very of interesting. Now has a trade agreement with a foreign culture. And can we watch how the... Yeah, so yes. So this is much... Better look. Ah, 
It's you again. Okay, and here's the pirates. Okay, so I'm just gonna check the pirate. How does it look? So this is pirate go. One of your opponents and here. now has a trade agreement with a foreign culture. School cliff. Some defensive structures in here. Pirates flag all the way. <laughs> Some schools in here. Pirates den. Really cool looking. Really beautiful. Yeah, here are they are looking for some treasure. Really awesome. Love the details from the Anno games. Really awesome. And here we got some ship wreckages in here, but yeah, this is the outpost in here. One of your and some opponents has defensive structures. Yeah, I always like to culture. search for the, all the small I islands. I welcome you oh, in the yeah. name of the Indian people. Indian people in here. Okay. So this is the bazaar in here. Grand Bazaar from the future, yes. Really awesome looking. And then there was someone in here. So who is in here? Welcome to the Imperial Trading Post. Ooh, Chinese people. Even China. So Far East. Okay, so we got Far East in here. In Guyang. Really awesome. Really plenty of actually enemies or possibly the friends. And they have different One units. Of your hmm. has concluded a trade really awesome. So let me just check. So this is our. So there's another one. There's so many NPCs in this game. Who is this? Ah, a Free new trader. face is always okay. welcome. Come closer. All right. And there's another in here. Someone. So who is living in here? The Iroquois welcome okay, Iroquois. you. Okay, so yeah, so we are. The Iroquois saw them. are honored by your visit. So one, two, three. That's a lot of guys in here, and we are at the top in here, so we're a little bit more safe. And let's check what is the diplomacy. Yeah, that's a lot of possibilities to interact who with people. Who cares about your silly Babylon? <laughs> Pirates Ramirez. You may state your Yaku, request now. Tatonka. For what reason do you Amir wish to Sakir. speak to me? Boxoa. Okay, I cannot pronounce this for sure. We give you permission. We got the speak. queen even. How can and I help there you? are the enemies you of have our. No yeah. And this is us. So Pablo 1713. So yeah. So first we need to extend the road right in here. So I think that now it's changed. So we have got the warehouses finally. Before it was only marketplaces, but let's check market building. Okay. So this will increase the radius and that's the people need the marketplace not sure not remember and here we got village center okay satisfaction for socializing okay for the people and marketplace are the place where the people are getting okay so let's go what do you say to doing a little job for me so yeah we got Right away, we got the first fisherman in here. There are a little bit too many informations in here. So yeah, the fisherman is working 100% productivity. So yeah, the building menu a little is a little bit too big, but okay. I'm going to call it your warehouse more often. Okay, that's perfect. So yeah, we're gonna need lumberjack for sure. So some standard things that we're gonna need to build in here anyway. To get some resources so let me just extend them get the roads done and they can cut the wood yeah they are cutting in here again 100 percent 100 percent so that's perfect so we're gathering some stuff hunting lodge oh yeah so we're gonna need anywhere the hunting lodge. okay so we can now have the highlights so let's make one hunting lodge in here before we're gonna get people in here so here's the hunter are you gonna kill any oh yeah he's shooting even wow and he killed just this moose all right yeah so hunter is making his stuff that's really awesome so yeah let's build the buildings and the marketplace and all the stuff 
Yeah, so that's the idea. So let me just extend the rope. The camera angle is kind of too flat for me. But okay. Oh yeah. So this is going to be the really center. Just in here. And now we can start building some buildings for our citizens. So what are the needs? So again we can change the tax to red and make them even angry. So let's leave them like this. They're gonna give us three coins. Right now they need food and Chinese community. So this village center. And then they're gonna need cloth, but we're gonna need to have 48 pioneers and then we're gonna need faith for them so church oh yeah and there's this shortcut right mouse menu right in here so i can select the houses like that and build them So if we're gonna go to the building menu right in here, we can go and take the ship. Check what's the distance right in here. And then one of your opponents has concluded a trade agreement with a foreign culture. Okay. So we got the road. You have some new buildings at your disposal. Again? Oh, and we got the church just like that. Okay, and we got the ships. So ship up we got 100% and we're gonna need reverse hut so let's go and we're gonna make maybe two ships but we're gonna see that what's the range of him I don't know okay so we need to go to the building menu reverse hut right just like this so yeah so now he's gonna collect this yeah, he's going straight away he's not even using my rolls why Come on, <laughs> that's my world. Oh yes, yeah, so we're producing food. We got everything in here done. And we can actually even set the sale probably. It's for sale. So was it the sale or it is the buy? Purchase and sell. So we can sell some exit number of one of your of opponents food. has concluded a trade agreement with a foreign and culture. And then also sell even food if we're gonna have too much food. Why not? Let's get some extra money. So yeah, we got only 45% productivity, which means that probably we're gonna need second ship ship farm. So let's make another ship farm in here. They can share a little bit, just like that. And we're gonna connect with the rope. So yeah, so we're gonna increase that to 100% and let's check what about our people. They want church, right? So we're gonna go to the church and build the chapel right in here. So how can I rotate the building? Okay, just like that. So that will be perfect. In the middle we got the church. Really fast, beautiful church, chapel actually. Really beautiful. Okay, so let's build more buildings in here. Right in here. So they're gonna be in the range of the chapel. Yes, that's correct. A smith is replenishing your settlement's tools. That's an excellent deal we made today. Okay, so we are getting 114 coins from the trade. So I'm just gonna try to stand, but we are missing some wood. Oh yeah, so we got a. I would give my right, right arm here. to be as successful as you are. So we got settlers and they have now even more needs. Education needs. All right. So yeah, we are advancing really fast. We can push it even more. So this guy was really fast and probably got new buildings just like that. But still, I don't see any new buildings. Oh yeah, we got settlers in here, so yes, we can start using clay pits and we can watch house. Oh wow. We can have market building 2, watchtower. 
and of course clay so we need to use the clay pit clay pits right in here but this is not in the range so i need to place another marker place let's check what about other things there's something in here looks like salt or something like that so this is going to be useful to have in the range so the good idea would be probably to move it a little bit even further something like that yep so we got additional marketplace done now i'm just going to connect everything with the rope oh yeah now we are getting clay and now we can have brick blocks so i'm going to place it right in here and we got wood and we got them all right so in here we can as you can see we have just one guy that is delivering everything in here but we can actually upgrade the warehouse in here and this will give us more transport cards so now there are two so yes so and we can actually probably sell more items as well yes we can sell additional items so now we are selling bricks as we are producing them and we are also selling food and probably gonna try to sell also clothes as if they're gonna be on high number and let's also sell wood if we're gonna have plenty of the wood so yeah so we are selling stuff if we are gonna make some more than we want so this is a little bit too far away for them so we're gonna need some One warehouse of your opponents has concluded a trade agreement with a foreign culture so we can place a warehouse right in here yeah so this will increase the productivity for us for sure we're still losing money we don't have much buildings and some of them are trying to advance in here as i can see and we're gonna need plenty of bricks so i'm just gonna make additional brick one as i said before so yes so let me just rotate this perfect so another brick factory So this is a much peaceful game than before and much cooler looking for sure okay so what about our guys they want i'm gonna need 130 settlers to get some new stuff for them but they are gonna advance anyway by themselves so we need to keep them on the dark green actually to make them sure to advance Okay, and then we can keep even them on the yellow to get some more money. As they're not gonna advance anyway, right? So we're gonna try to push the money as the much as we can. One of your opponents has advanced. Okay, and we're gonna build even more buildings, I think. Yeah, I cannot place any building in here. What about the range of the church? It's right here. So. One of your opponents has attained a higher civilization level. And there was a volcano eruption. Oh my goodness. What's a cool option. And it's over. <laughs> it was really close to us. We are right in here. Oh yeah, that was really dangerous. And yes, now they want to have the school, so we got probably the new build. Wow, that's a lot of new buildings. That is plenty of new buildings, actually. And what is it? Lodge. Okay, so is it like... Enables research of lodge activities. Alright. Harbors the spy. Hmm. Okay, and we got the school. So yes, we're gonna need the school, and we got perfect place in here so let me just rotate the building to match the area here everybody got gonna have the school yes so this is the perfect place let's check in here and i can actually turn off the ui now i know <laughs> yes so this is the school knowledge increase increase the knowledge per second so we've got 27 knowledge okay so probably research menu oh and we can research fire station and then building for this lodge and here we got pickpocket 
Oh wow, there are so many options in here. Cannon foundry. Wow. Your business action. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, what is going on in here? And uh, yeah, let's just zoom out. <laughs> this is looking Everything really beautiful. So we still got something event. An inventor is paying visit in here. Okay, so we got inventor. I don't know what he is doing in here. But what about them? Yes, they are giving me even more money. So let's push them even more. We're gonna get plenty of money. That's perfect. That is very perfect. And yes, I'm gonna make this lodge. And we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna require some tools. We don't have tools actually. So I'm gonna need to buy some tools from somebody. So let me just get rid of the food as we're gonna need food. Fire is raging in your settlement. Oh my, and we got fire. Just like that. And we don't have fireman. So yeah, yeah, let me just do this. Yes, we're gonna need some tools. 30, that's perfect. Where is the fire? It's right here. Okay. Can we research the fire station? We can, but how fast we're gonna research it? So yes, I think he's going bad in here. <laughs> People are trying to <laughs> get the fire out with the Someone's buckets out. full of water, but are they gonna be able to do this? Not sure. Uh, well, the fire gonna spread for sure to other buildings. Doesn't look very good. Yes, it's spreading. Unfortunately, it's spreading. So this house will be lost for sure. Yes, we got research done. So now we can actually get the fire station. Yeah, wow, that was a big, huge explosion. And this will also cost tools. And the fire station is perfectly designed for this. So we will place it in here. But as I said before, we don't have tools. We're gonna need to make the iron and then start production of the tools. So for sure, we're gonna lose another building. Sorry guys, <laughs> too bad, so sad. But luckily that's that's all, that's it, yes. So we lost just two buildings, we can rebuild this easily just like that. And we are back on good tracks, we're gonna build later on the fire station, but we're gonna need some tools. Alright, so that was it for today, it was just short, I was trying to make it short. So this is Anno 1701, so 1701, and yes, it looks really beautiful, it has lots of details. I'm gonna try to get some stuff in here without the actually menu, as you can see, they are... <laughs> those shovels are making some stuff without any people all right so <laughs> this is fun all right so that's it for today boys and girls it's gonna be really awesome it is really awesome game really awesome looking lots of details and hidden stuff like this lodge and then we're gonna be able to build some guild house even wow and with the research we have something so yes, we can develop all the stuff in here, but we need those buildings, marketplace on number 3, and then building garnison, and then we can research cannons and all the other stuff, militia, mobilization, crusade, mortar, really awesome small stuffs, and here we got mining, and we can probably have the open pit mining and refill the pits even, so this will be very important for the future. Alright, so that's it One for today. Boys and girls, thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had some fun with me and I hope that we're gonna meet each other next time. So boys and girls, have a wonderful day and if you're watching this at night, then good night. See you next time. You have so many nice things in stock. I have to stop myself from buying too much. <laughs>